Hi everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the Craft Galley channel. I am so excited about today's project because we are going to be using Newton's Nook Holding Happiness where you have three bang for your buck stamped images in this set that we are just going to get to play with and have a lot of fun with. I'm going to feature a few very distinct products in this project and I'm going to show you what I got to play with them. Okay. So let's get started with my kind of backgrounds, I would say. Not really the backgrounds, but um, they're going to be part of the watercoloring that I'm using. So I'm putting down some Distress inks. I am just going to spritz it with water, and I'm going to get three different cards layering out three different ways. So you have a dark, pigmented uh, background. You have a medium and a light. So when I did this, I really didn't know what I was going to do with these backgrounds just yet until I paired them up with this stamp set from Newton's Nook. And once I saw these, I knew that the colors that I laid down, I wanted to feature on the images. So I took out my VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and I am going to stamp on this watercolor cardstock with it. It doesn't matter really where the bottom piece of the image stamps out, because I'm going to be cutting that out anyway. I am going to make the focal point or the popped up focal point of these cards the main pieces. So the present, the cake, and the balloons. So I am going to continue to stamp those out. Once they get stamped out, I am going to fussy cut every one cutting off the bodies of the girl holding them. So I fussy cut each of these and I also add a little more color as you'll see we go throughout the cards. I add a little bit more color here and there to some of these images because some of the card panels were really faint, really light. Okay, so I get them fussy cut, and then I'm going to take my Memento Black marker, and I'm going to outline the images so that they look pristine and perfect, and as if I made no errors whatsoever, which we know is not the case. All right, I'm going to take out some of my pattern paper that I had in my stash, some elegant, light, um, I should say, simple colors, and then I'm going to actually do the stamped images that I will be keeping on the card panel using some 80 pound Nina Solar white cardstock and some Memento black ink because I will be using some alcohol markers. I'm going to stamp out my image. Sometimes with brand new stamps you need to stamp a couple times just to get a nice crisp image and so I do that and I can because I have you I'm using my mini Misty here. Once I stamp out uh, the images um, on all of the card panels I'm going to get ready to alcohol ink marker them. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> color them. I don't show the coloring because uh, the video is a little too long. I wanted to show a little bit more of the technique of some of the products I'm using. So I'm going to lay down my pattern paper panel at the top and that breaks up the card. This is what I would consider clean and simple for me because I'm not doing a whole lot of ink blending on the panels. Uh, there's not a whole lot of mess going on and by mess I mean greatness. <laughs> so alright here I am going to feature this next product which is the Concord and Ninth glitter cardstock. It comes with a mixture of gold, silver, black, and white. Loving this cardstock. Um, here I'm going to cut out a sliver of the glitter cardstock because I'm going to use that for the present in a little bit. And then um, I'm going to take out my bow punch builder and I'm going to punch out twice to make the bow. So you need to punch it out twice. And I'm going to assemble my bow off camera. So back to the present, I'm going to take that sliver and put a little bit of glue right where the ribbon is drawn on the present. And then I'm going to just fill that in with this glitter cardstock. And that just makes it look like there's some glitter ribbon there on my present. I do cut down these panels uh, because I want there to be a white border from the base around it. So I do that for all of them. And now I'm going to start assembling. So here I'm going to take some Nouveau glue and just lay this present down flat. The reason the present is flat is because the bow is so not flat. And so I wanted to add that bow and have that to be the major dimension here for this card. Um, with this much dimension, I would recommend hand carrying your card to somebody. Um, but you can probably put it in a padded envelope. That might work as well. I'm going to heat emboss using one of the sentiments that came in the kit huge thanks and I'm going to use my powder tool first and I'm going to use some Versamark ink which is the sticky clear ink 
and then I'm going to emboss with some gold embossing powder. And I love the way this comes out because it adds some more elegance to this. I really liked this, this color combination, which is not normal for me. I don't usually go to, to orange and yellow, but when you add the gold, it really just adds a touch of elegance. I'm going to add some fun foam to the back of that so it uh, combats some of that warping that I had going on. And then I add some gold Nouveau drops to the center of each of those flowers just to give it a little bit extra touch. You'll see some close-ups here at the end of the video. Next featured product is going to be from Paper Rose, and this is going to be the layered die cuts. So I love these die cuts. I, this is my first set I own of layered sentiments, and it will not be my last. I promise you that. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that I use them. The first one is going to be an inlay die cut technique. So I cut out the base with the gold, and then I took the celebrate word and cut that into the base of the gold, okay, instead of just placing it on top, which I do for some of the other ones. I'm then going to inlay a black sentiment from Black Cardstock for Celebrate. Now this one I did just lay on top. I layered that on top, so that was easy. And I'm going to take some of these black foam squares and add those to pop up the sentiment on the second one here. Um, these fun foam, I call them fun foam, they're foam squares, and they are uh, really good, really sticky. I like that they're black. Um, and yeah, they're really thin too. So if you don't want too much dimension added, they're the perfect touch. So then I'm going to place that down. So here I went with the black cardstock uh, and then the silver on top. And then here's some close ups of my cards. So as you can see, I showed you that one previously. This one here is with the balloons, and I added some Nouveau Glaze to the balloons because balloons are shiny. And then a Sakura black gel pen to add some polka dots to her dress. So uh, that one is how I did that. And then the next one, I used um, the same technique for the gold and yellow and orange one, but I used some pink and purples, added some Nouveau drops to the middle of the flowers as well, and then layered that with the black and silver for the Celebrate. Here I just kept the inlay of the Celebrate, again, some Nouveau glaze for the balloons, and I added some more polka dots to her dress. On this one I added um, the... For the cake, I added uh, some gold shimmer pen and then white Nouveau drops for her polka dots on her dress. So that was a lot of fun to do. And um, yep. And then lastly, I'll show you this one. And it's uh, pretty similar, but I added some drops to the cake itself. And I made her polka dots really big with the black Sakura gel pen on there. So there's lots of things you can do with some stuff you already have in your stash um, to make these cards pop. But that will do it for the cards today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please head over to the shop because there are amazing good deals over there. And you will find all these featured products there as well. Don't forget to hit subscribe in the upper left-hand corner. And here's some more videos in the lower right-hand corner. Until we see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.